Hi Pisces, I'm Jennifer. I've been shuffling and shuffling your cards. I'm just going to shuffle two more times. What's happening with Pisces spirits? We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Wands. So I'm seeing a great opportunity here as your very first card in the reading. The Ace of Pentacles, this is a huge opportunity that I'm seeing being presented to you very soon, Pisces. And, um... With the Nine of Wands, wow, it's like you're really tired. Seeing you very tired with the Nine of Wands energy. This is the Wounded Warrior. There's something here that's worth fighting for. That's why the, the Wounded Warrior is here. And then we have the Four of Swords. So this is resting. Resting and healing. What's happening with Pisces? Okay, we have Gemini energy with the lovers. And we have the Eight of Swords. These are, this is you being stuck in your mind about something. Could have, it's falling underneath this energy of the wounded warrior where I'm seeing you tired. Okay. And now I'm seeing a lot of messages going back and forth. Something happening very quickly. Whatever these messages are, this takes the blindfold off. We have the Ace of Swords next. This is complete clarity. This sword cuts through all of the confusion. Because here I'm seeing you in your mind and blindfolded. But something's going to happen very quickly because this is a fast energy where um, everything, everything becomes crystal clear. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. Something here about work. Okay, one more card and then we're going to go back and clarify Pisces. And we have temperance. This is an energy of being patient, Sagittarius energy. Let's find out what this is because this is something huge. It's not small Pisces, the Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? We have the Hierophant, Taurus Energy, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Fool. There is such a huge, huge opportunity that you're going to be presented with, Pisces. The Wheel of Fortune's here. So the the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favors. It's turning in your favor, not your favors, but the Wheel of Fortune's turning in your favor. This Ace of Pentacles, this is no joke. This is something huge, a huge opportunity. It's something that you're taking a leap into I feel like you could be learning learning something from from someone else because the hierophant can be a teacher. 
and I'm seeing you just going for it, taking a leap of faith with the Fool card and the Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor. You're not sure exactly how this is going to how this is going to go when you're in the energy of the Fool, but I'm seeing you taking a leap of faith and going, okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take this opportunity. And then I see when you do this, the Wheel of Fortune will be going in your favor. Okay, and then we have the Wounded Warrior, the Nine of Wands. Why is the Nine of Wands here? The Two of Wands. The Hermit with Virgo energy. And the Seven of Wands. Okay. I'm seeing you here in the energy of the Nine of Wands because something happened that forced you to go down a different path. You had to you had to go down a different path, Pisces. It kind of something happened that kind of left you stuck for a minute and you had to choose a new direction. And um whatever this is to you. I'm seeing that there was a lot of some type of work involved here with you showing up as the nine of wands. This could be emotionally or physically. And this path, this new direction that you had to take, I feel like you had to take it alone with the hermit energy. So now I'm seeing you, I'm seeing you in the seven of wands energy where you're you're guarded up. You're in this guarded up energy. But there's something here worth fighting for. It's a new path, a new direction than what you went on in the past. Okay, and then we have the Four of Swords. Why is the Four of Swords here? The Seven of Swords. The Two of Cups. And the High Priestess. This is strong uh, Pisces energy. This is you, Pisces. You could be dealing with another Pisces too. But at this point, when we get here, this card of healing, putting your swords up on the wall, not wanting to fight anymore, trying to heal. I'm seeing um, what you're healing over is there's a strong soulmate connection this is someone that shows up as the Seven of Swords. So this person, either lying, cheating, stealing is this energy. But with the Two of Cups, it's a soulmate connection. And I'm seeing you here in the High Priestess energy. You're trying to... You're trying to find the answers, but you know the answers. You're the keeper of secrets of why did this, why did this person do this to me? Why did they, why did they turn up in this sneaky energy? Because you were in a commit, there was a commitment here with the Hierophant. This could be someone you were married to, but there was a commitment between the two of you. The next card we have showing up here is the Lovers, Gemini Energy. 
Why are the lovers here? The world. So this is a cycle with this person that is over, completed. This could be an Aries with the Emperor showing up here. I have a Libra on the bottom of the deck. That's a strong soul, soul connection, Pisces. And I, what I see here next is we have the world and we have the tower. So there's someone here that all of a sudden something, something happened. And I feel like with the tower energy, it left you thinking, what happened? This is someone that you were in a committed relationship with. Someone that someone where this person they had no reason to all of a sudden end this connection with you. But this, this person puts you in a third-party situation, and that's why the tower struck. The world is here, and the emperor is here. So the cycle with this person showing up here, it completely ended. With the world and the tower. And it, it happened all of a sudden. It's like you didn't even have time. To realize what was going on here. But before the tower struck. Here's you the high priestess. This person was be doing something sneaky behind your back. With the seven of swords. And so I'm seeing you here. Trying to take control. To gain back control. With the emperor energy. This left you in your head feeling stuck because it's it's shocking and you weren't expecting it why is the eight of swords here this connection it there was a there was um something about this connection where it, it felt like it was going to last you felt very connected to this person Okay, so we have the Star, Justice, and the Two of Pentacles. This is a this is someone that you're I'm gonna take that back because I feel like this is this is someone, this is you, Pisces, holding out your cup of love to someone here that this five of swords energy, this is someone who's um, in their ego. Someone who's very cold. They don't care who they hurt as long as they win. This is you handing your love to this person. It, it, this person has some type of an imbalance, some type of an instability about them. And they left you stuck. And this is why the tower happened. Because you were feeling stuck. Like you couldn't move forward. You couldn't get anything done. This person wanted to be in control of everything. This could be an Aquarius. With the stars showing up here. It felt like a wish fulfillment at times. But I, I feel like you knew there's... There was something that just wasn't right about this person. There was some type of instability here that left you stuck. Because you're you're supposed to move on to... There's something that you're supposed to be doing, Pisces. And you, you could feel this 
with the star card showing up here. You felt like something was missing in your life. I feel like you knew this person was holding you back in some way. Because there's something here with the star and justice. There's something here about your energy is very powerful, Pisces. And you were being stuck and held back by someone. This is someone who is too controlling to let you to let you move on in your destiny. There's something here, some, some type of destiny or fate that you're supposed to be doing, but you weren't. You were like this, stuck in your mind. Okay, the next card we have right here is we have the Eight of Wands. So I'm seeing something happening very quickly, Pisces. And since we're talking about this soulmate connection that's showing up here in your reading, um, I'm pretty sure that this is messages going back and forth, especially with the Ace of Swords showing up next. Okay, so let's find out what this is, because this looks like messages, communication to me. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Yeah, see, there, there's that person, Pisces, the Five of Swords. The person that we just saw. Right there, again. You'll be getting messages from this person, Pisces, but they're kind of, they're coming, whatever these messages are, this is someone holding a stance. This is not someone coming with an open heart. This is someone, they're holding up a sword, Pisces. This person it's a sword, sword, swords over these messages going back and forth. It's someone really up in their head about you. I kind of feel like this person feels like you betrayed them with ten swords in the back. They feel like you betrayed them. And I'm going to clarify the King of Swords. This could be an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. But whoever this is, this is someone who doesn't show a lot of emotions, Pisces. It's someone who's really in their mind. You felt cold. You felt a coldness from this person. Why is the King of Swords here? But still, at the same time, you felt you felt this strong pull to them where you didn't want to let go because they're showing up as a twin flame soulmate connection. Oh, okay, so this is somebody who ghosted you. Someone turned their... Someone turned their back on you and ghosted you because they saw another ship coming in with the Three of Wands. They saw something else coming in. And that's why we have a betrayal here. This person found new love with the Ace of Cups. And it happened so fast. And it left you feeling like, like what happened? And it's because this was going, this person didn't just find somebody automatically like that, like it looked like. No, they were doing something sneaky behind your back before the tower fell. So then when the tower fell, it's like all of a sudden there's ghosting and this person rushes into new love. Betrayal, ten swords in the back. 
And then they, what the words they spoke were very cold. The King of Swords, this person, male or female, there's no gender in tarot. This person was not thinking with their heart. I feel like this person's kind of, I'm not really seeing a lot of love here, Pisces. I'm seeing a soulmate. I know they feel connected to you in some way, but there's not a lot of heart from this person. You're dealing with a sword. It doesn't matter, you know, whether this is an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. This, this person is someone who is looking at other options and um, they kind of felt like, they kind of felt like they wanted to see more and they saw another ship coming in. And so that's what I'm seeing here. So, so they betrayed you and this connection ended. And then we have the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords can be communication or truth. The Eight of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. And the King of Wands. See, again, they show up here as a soulmate once again. Whoever, the if this reading's resonating with you, this person went back to an ex. This person said uh, to them that this person could have had money or something or some type of stability. And so your person left with this queen of pentacles and I feel like it had, it could have had something to do with money, Pisces. Your person shows up here as the king of wands now. It's a, it's a very strong energy coming off of your person, male or female. Um, it could have been an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. It's a very nice looking person here. A very fiery type of person. Someone who's very charming, nice looking. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. So this person, I didn't make this clear, this person is going to come out of the cold. Um, there is blocked, or this person ghosted you. They are going to come back around and tell you the truth. This person went, for a lot of you, this person left and went to an ex. Someone who, someone who had something here that looked like stable for them or comfortable for them. For a lot of the, a lot of it could have something to do with money. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? The Three of Swords. The Six of Swords. And the Six of Wands. So I'm seeing you moving on, fulfilling your destiny, Pisces. There's something here um, when this heartbreak, this is a lot of heartbreak with the three of swords, three swords in the heart. It was very painful. And so I'm seeing when this pain happened, this tower happened, it could be happening now. I'm seeing you focusing on your work. There's something here that you turn this pain into. And here you go, the Six of Swords and the Six of Wands. Earned success with the Six of Swords. And this is success and victory. This is yes, you made it. You're, you, 
you're leaving this person kind of left you stuck in the in this energy of having to heal and rest and feeling stuck in your mind for a while i'm seeing you here stuck and then all of a sudden you just put this heartbreak into your work or i'm seeing you doing this and then we have temperance sagittarius energy why is temperance here spirits why is temperance here? You could be dealing with a Leo. Okay, so... Or a Scorpio with the death card showing up here. I'm seeing you, you're going to be, I'm seeing with temperance here, there's a, there's something that requires patience and strength, strength that you didn't know you have, or that you, um, this, this can be future energy. I'm seeing future energy showing up here, patience and strength and the 10 of pentacles. So this can be unexpected money or it's something of a legacy. It's your, it's your legacy. It's something this person was holding you back from accomplishing. And so I see you here being single and a lot of stability with the nine of pentacles. This is material gain. And I'm seeing an end to the waiting the Seven of Pentacles is waiting. There's an end to waiting and a rebirth. And I'm not sure that makes a lot of sense. Why is the death card here? Why is the death card here? The devil. See? It's an end to the devil. Look at that, Pisces. Whoever this person was that was leaving you stuck... It's over, but still I'm seeing, I see you here waiting and looking back like you're waiting for something. Why is the seven of pentacles here? Judgment and the sun. Why is the seven of pentacles here? And the three of pentacles. This person you may be waiting for something, Pisces, because you are a Pisces. Your intuition is great. You know what's hidden behind the veil. You know the secrets. And I feel like you know that this person is, is going to return to you. There's something about this person that makes you happy with the sun card showing up here. And I do see judgment showing up and I'm seeing this person returning to you and a three and becoming a three. Because I think it's a great possibility that there could be a child because we have a three and we have the sun. So there could be a baby, not for everybody. But the two of you becoming a three. Okay. That, that last.